up, folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today, courtesy of my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics, check them out in the link below, we are taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Autobot Blaster and Eject. Beautiful box art. I love the new Legacy design. Looks really nice. I think it's pretty rad. There's a QR code there, so if you want, you can scan it. And here is Blaster. I do have him in his uh, cassette player mode. Just thought it'd be fun and different. His accessories are this Blaster. Go figure. Plop that open. And he's got Eject. It is awesome. It looks very much like the old 80s tape decks that we grew up with. It looks a lot like the old Gen 1 Blaster. It uh, does its job. It's pretty clean. I mean... There maybe could be a different panel here, but maybe it would look bulky, you know, just to close this up like a slider. But who knows? It might not look right. But it's nice. The knobs don't turn. Nice paint here. The only thing that worries me is inside this uh, working door, it's, it's clear plastic, which is prone to breaking. But all in all, it's a nice figure. And I think he's pretty cool. Here is Eject. He is all clear plastic and that just scares the shit out of me because i know how fragile it is to transform him you just pull his legs down like so twist the knees around pull this out rotate rotate and i should get a spudger because i don't have any nails but plop his head up and rotate and you've got a little set bot here he is from the front back and again he is all clear plastic so that's scary i feel like that is just gonna one day break yeah you can actually see that there's stress here in the knee and um i just transformed it to a tape once so definitely be careful with him Here is Blaster. I like to start by untabbing here. That allows me to break out here and here. Okay, this just folds down. The arms, pretty neat. Flip out and flip in, rotate. Pull out, flip over, and rotate. Straighten out the legs. Flip this in, close this up. Flip this, this closes up right like so. Again, flip this down, close this in, rotate up, close. Feet. Again, no nails, so use that rocker. And then check that out. Really cool rotation feature here. And that is awesome, I must say. Pop this open. Out comes his head. Rotate. Rotate. And you have got Voyager class blaster. Let's see if we can get him to stand on his own. There you go. He looks awesome. I am going to bring something up. All over is this deformation space um, blaster that's coming out, that masterpiece scaled. Everybody's kind of upset about this black coloring, but even Hasbro goes with the black coloring. It looks good with the character, man. Just enjoy the figures for what they are. So he is molded plastic through and through, very little paint. The paint on this figure, his chest, his Autobot logo, 
his face, his eyes, his helmet, and a little bit of paint here. Nothing on the back, black paint, black paint, not much paint, but he doesn't need it. I mean, he just looks fine. He looks like a, he looks like what Blaster should look like. Head looks up, head looks sort of down. You can get motion, we're on a ball peg here. Full rotation. Shoulders rotate, shoulders come up this far. Bicep swivel. Single bend at the elbow for a little bit more than 90 degrees. No wrist rotation, but due to transformation, you can get some movement. Absolutely hollow here due to transformation. Waist rotation. Full Van Dam, no problem. Kicks back this far. Kicks up this far. Knee bends. Feet, they go up due to transformation. There's really not much there. And you've got rockers. He's got a button pushing finger here that I want to say works, but it's a bitch because there's no wrist rotation. If you had that wrist rotation, you could put it a little bit, you could twist it and point. But it'll look cool for pictures, and that's all right with me. Holds his blaster just fine. Let's get him into a quick pose. And there you have blaster and eject. And they look good. I think they look really good together. I think for a Voyager class figure, he's totally worth it. I think he's a great figure. I think Hasbro Knocked it out of the park with him. Smooth transformation, good articulation, color in all the right spots. I, I mean, you can't go wrong. I definitely recommend picking this guy up. I got mine from St. Mark's Comics. Check them out down in the link below. As always, to my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.